Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. So once again, uh, welcome to my new lecture. So in this lecture, um, I'm going to differentiate between tolbutamide and glebenclemide. So both are belong to the hypoglycemic agents or hypoglycemic drugs. So what is tolbutamide? So first of all, you know that tolbutamide it belong to uh, hypoglycemic or anti-diabetic drug. So tolbutamide uh, it lowers the blood sugar by stimulating uh, the pink to secrete the insulin and helping the body use insulin efficiently <clears throat> the pancreas must be able to produce insulin for this drug to work so if you remember so we have already talked about the tolbutamide and different hypoglycemic drug that uh, uh, the pancreas the beta cell which produce insulin so definitely uh, these drugs will uh, bind to the insulin receptor so the number of the insulin receptor uh, will be increased uh, tolbutamide uh, this is a, a short acting anti-diabetic drug and tolbutamide they are metabolized in the liver because most of the drug they are metabolized in the liver liver is the major organ which is responsible for the metabolisms uh, tolbutamide uh, this is safer in the patient with renal impairment especially those patients who are suffering from renal impairment so tolbutamide this is safe uh, this drug is also safe in uh, elderly uh, patients, uh, those who are uh, above uh, 60, uh, 70 or 80 years, so tolbutamide can be recommended. The second one is uh, glebenclamide. So glebenclamide, it is widely used and uh, this is also hypoglycemic agents. Uh, it has intermediate kinetics and it can be given as a single uh, daily dose. Uh, Glebenclamide uh, it is started with a daily dose of 5 mg in the morning before breakfast. Uh, the maximum dose of glebenclamide is 15 mg per day. Uh, another agent is uh, chlorpropamide. So chlorpropamide is a longer duration of action. Uh, chlorpropamide uh, it is there may be a risk of prolonged hypoglycemia. So as uh, earlier uh, I just talked about that most of the hypoglycemic agent uh, uh, there may be a chances of weight gain and hypoglycemia. It shouldn't be used in elderly patient. Uh, so, uh, inshallah, in my next lecture, uh, we will discuss about the biquinides, uh, metformin. Thank you so much for watching my lecture.